you need it all throughout the course of the season. Um, so I think, uh, you know, I grew up catching, and that's a lot of volume on your body. That's a lot of throws you're making, too. So I don't know what the... I would say that the torque different, though. I mean, you're not, you know, doing all that as a catcher. You, know, you clearly have a lot on now. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, moving right is, is I think, the first part of that uh, as a pitcher, just moving efficiently, moving really help, you know, healthy, um, and then, you know, figuring out how your body is and, and getting strong and mobility, like, everything matters. Um, so I don't know, I, I haven't thought too much about um, kind of the, the amount that I've been pitching over the last, you know, six or seven years, just because that's kind of when, uh, or and, and before that also, because um, I've kind of just started pitching you know, in the last six or seven years, really. Um, but I think I think you know building volume on your body is uh, is important. Not like I might not be the best guy to ask for this, but um, yeah, that, that's kind of how I look at it. Thank you. Well, here, when you go seven eight seven eight without giving up the hit, what were your feelings about coming out? Uh, you know, you you want to uh, to finish the game. You want to be able to finish what you started, um, not just in that outing, but um, every every game that you pitch. So. Uh, but I, you know, we're, obviously I, I am, you know, 22 year old where I am, and, and the whole story I think has been about, you know, workload management and managing my volume this year. So, um, and then, you know, frankly, you know, Shelty said that I looked tired when, when he was talking to me in the dugout, and and uh, uh, and as he and as he was watching me, um, and that's you know, kind of how I felt a little bit too. Um, I was laboring. It was, 60 plus pitches in the first three innings. That's, um, you know, there are going to be those outings, and it kind of sucks that it landed on a, an outing like that. Um, but I'm, you know, all for it if, if it means that I get to pitch all year. Yes, sir. Paul, two questions. First, what was the one moment in your mind that convinced you to switch from catching to pitching? Uh, they stopped putting me in BP groups. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, because I, I, I went to LSU and I stopped catching, uh, but I was, I was hitting still. And I wanted to keep hitting as long as I could, but um, the upside on the mound, I think, was a lot better than the upside hitting, so uh, kind of gave it up, and I, I, wasn't, I wasn't too broken up about it because we had the opportunity to win the national championship, and, you know, we ended up doing it, so I think, I think it was worth it. And getting back to the speaker, do you remember, did you just play with Rips on the run. Did one of the coaches help you? How did that uh, process? Develop? It was a grip that I was, you know, how I was holding the ball uh, did not change, but the the way I was releasing it and, and what I was feeling as I released it changed a little bit, and I just kind of discovered it um, on one random throw, and I just kept doing it, just kind of playing around. It was pretty broad in general, I think, just, you know, the goal is to be in the major leagues um, and to be, you know, hopefully a, a, an effective big league starter by this time, which is, um, you know, that whether whether that was going to happen or not, uh, at the time I had to make some, some adjustments and get better, and um, that was a big focus of the offseason, and, you know, obviously being here now, I think that's just a product of, of, you know, doing it one day at a time and having good coaches and good people around me. And, um, but yeah, I, I didn't necessarily think I'd be here. I'm sure you'll also be throwing that splinker tomorrow. To, uh, tell us a little bit about how you learned that pitch and what makes it such a good weapon for you. Yeah, I, I had a sinker grip that I was throwing uh, last year at LSU and kind of started fooling around with it between when I, uh, you know, the college season wrapped up and, and when I was going to report to the to the complex after the draft and just figured out a different cue for it. Um, Started throwing it and got command over it, and you know the last part of that is just throwing it to hitters and seeing, seeing how they uh, react to it. Yeah, it seems like the arsenal continues to evolve. Uh, yes, sir. Or yeah, I'm so sorry. Hi, Paul. Uh, your strength is throwing possible. So, how many miles per hour do you want this throw this all the game? Uh, at least a hundred. <laughs> 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 uh, right. Thank you. That was a great question. <laughs> you gotta get triple digits, yeah. right? Uh, 
Uh, yes, Emily. Hey, um, so Caroline with House of Highlights, you're bringing a lot of new young fans to the game that maybe didn't have the interest before, and it's awesome to see. Um, you're getting a lot of comparisons to be the Wemby of the NBA. How does that make you feel? Thoughts, comments? You agree? Disagree? Uh, I don't. I don't know that I agree or disagree with that. I. I I don't watch the NBA at all. Uh, I know who he is, but I don't know. Um, I don't know a whole lot about him as a They player. call him. A, they think he's going to be a generational talent. Okay. Um, yeah. No. It, it's you know it's an honor, but um, you know I'm 11 starts in, and, and you know here we are now. But hopefully there's a, a lot more time to that I, that I can play this game. Thank you. A lot of humility, but team first mentality. Uh, yes, Gary. Hey guys. What uh, for for Tori and for Paul? Thank you for checking out this content from Post Gazette Sports. If you watch this video on YouTube, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. For all of the sports coverage the Post Gazette has to offer, visit post-gazette.com.